This is the VoiceOver Gurus Podcast. Real talk about the voiceover industry with your hosts, Linda Bruno and J.J. Wilson. Well, this is new and fun. Welcome back. This is the VoiceOver Gurus podcast with a little webcam action today. Oh, that sounds kind of dirty. Cool? Yeah. Like just webcam action. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me hear those coins drop. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Like, I like Jink. your shirt. You've got Snoopy and Linus. Thank and... you. Yes. When I was first learning to sew, Janine bought me a, a pattern and I actually made this shirt. Wow. Yeah. And the buttonholes sucked. <laughs> And the collar, you'd never think how it goes on. You just, it's, I kept going, no, nah, it's not going to work, honey. You can't make it. No, but it worked anyway. You're so very anyway. creative. That's excellent. So, you know, so if you're lucky enough to see us on the YouTube uh, video that we are creating right now, which will be on the VoiceOver Guru's YouTube page, you will see his fantastic uh, Snoopy shirt. Yes. Now, are you wearing yes. that for the class tonight? Uh, I might just, yes. I'll take it up in between to do a little woodworking because I don't want to get blue paint all over it or red or orange or whatever. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to see you. I'm a little... It's nice to see you too. People are probably going, oh my God, I thought he was taller. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> I'm sitting down. I'm a little disappointed in my salad choice today. Oh, well, any salad is a disappointed <laughs> choice. <laughs> I, don't, I, I pick the same things like and then I eat it and I'm like, I don't really like this. I don't know why I do it. And every day I'm like, oh, it's going to taste good today. It's going to taste no. good today. No. But, no. Tastes like dirt with dressing on it. <laughs> the other thing I'm annoyed about is that... Yeah, I, you said you were annoyed when I first called you, and I thought you were annoyed at me. It's not about you. Okay. It's about the fact that my second interface has crapped out on me. My audience, ID22, now is good for the garbage. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. So my Apogee duet crapped out like a month ago, two months ago. Oh, I use the Apogee Duet. I love it. I love it. I love it. It hasn't crapped out yet. You're lucky. So this it's so one. It's simple. It's yeah. one knob. It's good for me. <laughs> I know. It's just, uh, I'm annoyed. So now I'm in the market for another interface. In the meantime, I'm using my little tiny Focusrite Scarlet to, ah, to okay. get me through. But, you know, interface time. Yuck. I know. Oh, I yeah. That's one. $700 anyway. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm kind yeah. of looking to not spend any money right now. Yeah. Yeah, I understand what you mean. Oh, tequila. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a little annoyed by that. but Okay. Well, you won't be in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I wish I was drinking tequila. The thing is, there's so many opinions about interfaces and what – there's just too many opinions. And I'm like, my mind is overwhelmed. Oh, I know. Well, that's the way it is with everything now. You go to look at a microphone. There's 900 of them. Yeah. God. And I just – I mean, I spent weeks just going through mic tests on the internet. Mm -hmm. And every time I did it, it came back that this one – the one that you have the MKH416 mm -hmm. wins. It just, it has the best sound from my voice. Now, mic test, how did you do that on the internet? I just uh, typed in uh, 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 microphone comparison tests on YouTube and they do them all. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. And you can also, if you want to, go to Guitar Center and pick up a couple of mics. It'll cost you, you know, a couple thousand dollars for a minute. Bring them all home, plug them in, test them, test them, test them, test them, bring the ones back you don't like, and we're good to go. I know B&H Video, Audio and Video in the city yes. in Manhattan used to have a booth with all the different microphones and headphones. And I'd love to go in there and I would test, you know, yes. you could physically yes. test them, which was nice. But I really find that this one is, is the best for me. Yeah, I had the uh, the Manly Reference mic there for a while, but it was picking up people on the moon. Manly Reference, what's that? It's a, a manly reference mic. It's it was very expensive, like five thousand dollars. It's manly and gorgeous. It's very manly, and it, it just I mean I could hear people mowing the lawn in South Africa. <laughs> it was just it was too much. And these are good for us because of the you know the small opening. Mm-hmm. Um. Of the. Uh, <laughs> um. Hey, look! You're the one that referred to knee pads earlier when we were talking about keeping clients happy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, mine are all worn out. I'm gonna have to go to the Dick Sporting Goods or something. <laughs> it's funny that they call themselves that, but anyway, um, 
<laughs> oh, look, a squirrel. Um, <laughs> these are good because there's the, the noise behind the microphone can get in. Right. And and they're they're my favorite choice. I will never switch microphones again. Well, you call it unidirectional? Uh, I guess so. Because omnidirectional yeah. would be all right, around. back and front. Right. Like the TLM-103 doesn't have the feature where you can turn off the back. Mm-hmm. And but the next step up does, but that's forty two thousand dollars and eighteen cents, I think, <laughs> whatever that is. And you know, as it's funny that you're talking about this because I was thinking about this last night talking with David Hughes about sometimes somebody will say something during a session like, "Gee, you know, do you, I'm hearing something," and that's it. That's that's all I need to hear. And then I'm <laughs> buying new everything and. Janine's on the floor under the desk going, I don't know, everything looks the same to me. <laughs> and you start replacing speakers and microphones, and then they call you back a month later and go, oh, it was on my end. <laughs> right. Well, you can't well, we freak get, out. I get paranoid that. very easily. About yeah, that. you so, can't freak out about that stuff. I, I do. <laughs> I do. I do. So, um, I, I thought it would be interesting so to Island, talk about. This is really cool. We can Hi. see you and they can see us. Yes. Yeah, they're yes. probably going, wow, she's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. <laughs> She's annoyed because she didn't like her salad today, but uh well I'll bring you a cheeseburger. <laughs> I was trying to be I'm I enjoy salads. I'm not saying I don't like salads. I don't like rotisserie chicken in salad. Do you like rotisserie chicken? No, I, yeah, I like rotisserie chicken, but not in salad. Salad something I like about salad. it. It's like That's the it. consistency. Something yeah. something's off. Something's it's off. It's like eating gummy worms and marshmallows. It's just not right. <laughs> Something, yeah. Yeah, I can't yeah. put my... So anyway. No. Especially uh, if you cook the gummy worms over the open fire first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> little graham cracker on it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So we wanted my, to talk... I must tell you, though, that my grandson that called the other day while he was eating a turkey and peanut butter sandwich. Oh. <laughs> God. Oh, that and sounds said, disgusting. Jack, what are you eating? Turkey and peanut butter, Grandpa. And I went, Okay. I used to work with a woman down in Fort Myers at the radio station who would have peanut butter and onion sandwiches. Oh. And surprisingly, it's really good. Oh, no, no. I don't like onions. But it's like, because the sweetness, there's sweetness in an onion. And yeah. it, it really does, actually, it sounds disgusting, but it's, it's actually pretty good. Okay. But well, let's, don't let's have spend that. spend the next half hour coming up with really <laughs> disgusting food. But don't eat that before a session. No, especially if you're working across from somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Smacking oh, I'm and back. Sorry. bad breath and all those beautiful things. We wanted to talk about... Um, your, what did we want to talk about? Knowing Linda? your worth. Uh, let as me a see. Talent. I've got about 18 bucks in the bank and I've got one credit <laughs> card that's not maxed out. 18 bucks. 18 bucks is what you're yeah, worth. Yeah, that's my worth. Saying that, you know, giving away your talent too easily is just a disservice on so many levels. And, you know, first off, you're putting yourself down. <laughs> Even if you're just starting out, if you've spent the time to go through coaching and and various workouts and you've really worked hard at it, why the heck would you give it away? Exactly. Exactly. And it, that that's one of the, the hardest things of this business. I think I get calls like twice a week from people that have worked with us or what have you. And, oh, I've got this gig and they want to do this and it's going to run here. How much? And I'm like, I don't know. Right. You know, do you think they're going to come back? Right. Uh, there's so many variables. Right. But, you know, yeah, I, I agree that that is it's it's difficult and you don't want to underprice yourself because of course they're going to go oh i was thinking about 600 and you tell them three <laughs> right. and you go, oh, <laughs> or the old gag of we're going to have a lot of work coming for you down the pike so if you uh -huh. could cut me a good deal now right you know and so you're like In okay three years when i call you for one more <laughs> yeah you a good deal again you know? yeah, it's only 800 phone numbers <laughs> i know so that's something you got to be wary of as well. If somebody says to you, we got, we've got 10 videos we want you to voice. So could you give us a bulk rate? Oh, and I'm a, now at this part, part, at this point, I say, give me the first five and then I can give you a bulk rate. And then, right. you know, because I've been put in that situation where suddenly the client no longer needs me. Yeah. And I've worked for, you know, a lot like half price of what I normally would have charged for a project. Right. Because they're going to call you back. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, 
The other side of it is if you have a client that is a recurring client and you want to keep this client happy and they have been consistent and they're good and they pay yeah. you on time and, you know, then at that point you work out those special deals. You know, you work out those individual deals. I have clients that we don't even talk rate anymore. Yeah. I'm one of my very first clients in the business still uses me and the rate is still the same as it was in 1988. <laughs> <laughs> so I just go, that's fine. Whatever. You know, my right. God, 12 and 21, 32 years of work for them. I'll, yeah. No matter, okay. You know, unless it's really long or something or right. they're all over the world. But nine times out of 10, I just, it's just a kind of a given. Right. What the rate is. Yeah. And long term. Sometimes they call and say, uh, clients being a pain, can you come down, you know, $500 million? And they went, sure. I'll, <laughs> I'll do it for a dollar. Dollar eighty two point four. So there are some situations where you're going to be flexible, but at the get go. Oh, I'm not very flexible at all. At all. Linda. No, that's why Janine <laughs> had to get under the desk to look at the wires. Because I would have to move the microphone down there. <laughs> well, that's something you got to work on as you yes. age. As you age. Uh, Shut up. Uh, something else, too, <laughs> that <laughs> finds I find to be a bad move, and it's not – maybe I've done it a long time ago, but there's some people that I know do this. They go in cheap, and they try to bid low to get the job, and then they say it's an introductory price to the client. You know, the next time you'll pay the full rate. No, they right. won't. <laughs> <laughs> They're never going to call again. They're right. going to call somebody else who has an introductory price. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, do I, an introductory I, price. No, that, that's that's not a wise move at all because it'll always be the introductory price. <laughs> right. Always and forever. Yeah. And they'll never they'll never value you for the higher rate because they'll say, well, you were willing to do it for 75% of that last time. Right, right. Well, I've changed. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes you have to, you know, even if you don't have any experience, I get it. You're starting out. There are times when you, yeah, you're going to work for a little less than maybe you would normally, you know, someone might tell you to charge. In that case, I would say just to try to work with your client and find out what the budget is. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. One of the main questions I ask when we get involved in that part is what do you have in the budget? Mm -hmm. And I go, well, I got 500. That way you leave it to them. And, you know, I'm thinking three. And he goes, well, we got 500. I'm going, that's fine. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's it. I, I, I make believe and give it some time. I go, well, yeah, yeah that's fine. Now, what if they come yes. back to you and they say we have 200? 200, then I would look at what it is we're doing. Are we doing a 27-minute video? Uh, are we doing a quick 30 radio for a small town in Idaho? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if it's that, I would probably go, I'm, I'm sure, uh, you know, I like to work and it's a, a small job. I said, no, no sitting in on the session though. You don't get right. to sit, direct me for all that and do 81 takes. I'll give you a finished product in about 20 minutes and we'll be done. That's right. what you get for the, for the lower rate. That's what I and do they're too. They're usually happy with that. Right. I say, I can offer you this, but yeah. it's not going to yeah. be a supervised session. You need to be right. flexible. And when I turn it around to you, because I have other stuff that I have to do, and I will give you one read and a follow-up read if you need it within a week. But other than that, after right. that, you have to pay more. And right. yes, people wind up, I say, just do yourself a favor and be as descriptive as possible with what you want in each part of your script. That way you don't have to pay any more than you're looking to pay. But you have to spell these things out because... I love it when they, they you, you make a deal like that, you know, for the, let, let's say it's a TV spot for, uh, you know, a, a very small town in Idaho that's going to run for eight hours. And you make your deal and then they send you over the copy and a scratch track. <laughs> they said, can you read with the scratch track? So I went off to change the edits because that'll cost more money. And I will, it already does. <laughs> <laughs> if you want me to read along with some guy who's never done this before, who never breathes, Right. then it's going to cost you more. <laughs> right. You know, I'll listen to his and I'll get the pace about the same. You can just slide a few things around. Otherwise, it's 300. Right. Mm -hmm. It takes more time and you've got to be able to, you know, match whoever is reading the scratch track's voice. I don't mind getting the scratch track if I have video, you know, but the... I See, I never even download the video. I just download the scratch to Pro Tools and I read against listening back. And don't make the mistake if you're doing that to push 
solo on the track you recorded. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll send them both, <laughs> I, I, which I've done, done several times. <laughs> you've done that too? Yeah. Now, Scott Pringle called me the other day and said, can I get one with just you? <laughs> <laughs> But I, I actually don't mind getting a scratch track um, because for me, it's easier to watch the waveform. I judge it by the waveform of the scratch for the length of that section. Yes. But I do warn the client and I say, your scratch track is really fast. Yes, and this person is speaking. Is. I don't think I've ever had one that's easy to do. Because there's no expression. <laughs> there's no emotion. Right. And then we all went to the store and went, isn't it? I'm not going to breathe for 35 seconds. Right. I'm just going to keep talking and talking and talking and talking. Right. And I'm in here cutting out breaths like, oh, I think I can squeeze it enough. <laughs> but those are conversations that you should have with your client before you go to the trouble of doing all the work. Right. You know, listen to that scratch track. And if it just seems completely crazy, you know, it's not someone that has any experience in doing a voiceover. You know, you got to discuss because otherwise you're going to be in, in your production end of it, just back and forth, frustrated. And they the, the the newer people, you know, in the last 10 years who started in this business don't realize that studio time used to be three hundred dollars an hour. Right. For a cheap one. Right. And you'd have to have a couple, three, four hours to record the talent and get it mixed, put the music. To, you know. I know they still do that, but they do it in house now. But. Our time, we're doing some of the work that the other people used to do now. Right. Yeah, it's changed. And, you know, you can include a little bit of production, too. If it's uh, a session like, um, uh, okay, I've got uh, 35 slides, and they're all about uh, 20 seconds long each. Um, okay. But I want them labeled and bounced individually. Oh, yeah. That raises the price because right. I'm doing production now. Right. And, you know, even though we can do a fast bounce in today's technology – it's still a pain in the neck. Right. I don't mind doing it, but I have to get a little bit of something extra for that. But that's also a good way, too, if your client doesn't have a big budget, you say, look, I will send you one raw uh, audio file. Right. And, and it'll be right. up and to you and your editor. don't mind the dog barking. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, I take out my mistakes. I take out, but other than that. You don't I, make mistakes. I know, I, right? Perfect. But other than that, I, take you know. 94. <laughs> if, uh. <laughs> <laughs> they want to like you know they don't have much money i need i need a little break here then that's how how i get Good. a break yeah. you know here it is <laughs> <Fix Yeah>. it. <laughs> so no matter what you know you're starting out you do want to get some of those jobs but there are ways that you can book them without going in and saying i'll do it for 50 bucks you know right. you, exactly. you you play the game it's exa a game exactly it's a little negotiation and don't game. do it via text or email Mm. That's one of my rules. Hey, can you do it for 75? I don't want to do this on email. See, I can't see your face. I can't hear your voice. I, I I agree with you. I like talking to people. Yes. But email for me is a good trail of what we're doing. So I can go back and prove and go, well, you said on the 8th, because my memory is not fantastic. I know, Barbara. But, you know, <laughs> uh, oh, Linda. <laughs> But yeah, if you but if you do it what what I was just talking about and send them a final email. So okay, here is what we discussed yes, on the phone. Yes, good. Mm -hmm. Ninety thousand dollars for a ten second spot. <laughs> right. Every four weeks with renewal. Right. <laughs> Please confirm you receive this email and have yeah, it collapse. There you go. So that's a good way to do it then. Yeah, yeah. Because I just yeah, I, it's better. You can hide behind this stuff and you can't tell what they got. <laughs> what they got. What they got, how much money they got. Well, it's like you know, playing, playing cards? Yeah, it's like, yeah, what yeah. The, they you, got? Know, you know when to hold them and know when to throw them in the garbage. <laughs> um, about? And if you need to, you know. Call Linda to ask her the rates. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I no, get no. calls every now and then. You yeah. do, you do. Um, I mean, I always send people to GVAA, the website I told you about. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're GVAA. <laughs> yeah, Gava. Uh -huh. um, they're very good uh -huh. with uh, non-union listings of rates yes. um, that you should try to shoot for. Um, don't stress about it, though. Like I said, if you're if you're just starting out, just say, "Look, let me find out what the budget is. Tell them you're flexible, and right. see if you can come to some arrangement so it doesn't come off like you're complete newbie." Right. And this will give, like, give value to you because, you know, you're a business person as opposed to just a desperate talent happy right. that they the got their first they job. They know that if they want to use you and they really like you after the first session, that you know enough to negotiate. And they're therefore, they will 
in the step before they call you, remember that when they're dealing with the client and doing their budget. Exactly. They'll exactly. go, you know what, JJ's probably going to need this for this. So I'll include that in the budget of the client. It's already approved before they even say, mm -hmm. you know, they know how much they have to work with. Yes. And each client, at least for me, is different. I mean, and I keep my you have notes. More than one? <laughs> yeah, surprising, right? <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> but I keep my notes nice. <laughs> in QuickBooks and I look at the back invoices, even if it's like five years ago, to see what I charged for what length of yes, project. I, yes, I do too. They said, you, whatever it was last time, I said, the last time we worked together was 96. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to take me a minute to figure it out, okay? Right. <laughs> and, and I love it when they say, well, I got it right here. And I'm going, you're too anal for me. <laughs> 96. <laughs> what? Did they even have computers? Is it on a piece of paper in a Rolodex? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So know your worth. Know your worth. I like it. I like it. It's it's a tricky game. Yeah. But uh, try not to lose the job doing it. And if you uh, if we wanted to go to the other end of the spectrum on that is is getting the money when they're not sending it in a timely manner. Mm. Um, I can just say that don't expect it because it's just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, you must learn to pay your bills and live with usually anywhere from 30 to 90 days of waiting for a check. Now for you, if you ever get like a brand new client that just came out of nowhere with no references, nothing, do you give them credit like that? Or do you want something, a down payment? Do you ask for anything? Oh, I've never asked for a down payment. You no. don't ask for anything. No. So and I've been lucky. I haven't been stiffed but twice in my entire career. So for o some overseas clients, because, you know, it's a little tougher to follow up. Yeah, you think? A little tougher. <laughs> I'll be back so, on the boat ride. <laughs> <laughs> I, if it's a first time, I say to them, payment will be due before I deliver audio. Because and I'll, and I'll I'll preface it though and say it's our first time working together. After this, we can move forward with you. And then everybody always agrees to it. They're like, yeah, sure, you know, no problem. Okay. Cool. So I'll try that. <laughs> yeah, I record the audio, I hold it, and then I send them an, a PayPal invoice or a QuickBooks invoice, and I say, your audio is ready for download as soon as you make payment. And boy, okay. they make payment. So oh, okay. yeah, so that's another another way to to confirm if it's somebody that you don't know. You know what would be fun to do? What? Form a speech impediment in that middle time there. <laughs> <laughs> and when they open it up, this is Linda Bruno speaking live from the studio. And then when they open it up, they go, oh, my God, I just paid $200 before I got the file. I didn't know. So anyway. stiff them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, great business yeah. model. Oh, yeah. They'll, they'll call you right back. <laughs> you probably won't be happy, but yeah. Yeah. And the other lesson I learned, if you're in a session with clients, don't do anything silly before you start. You know, like I start reading it like Elmer Fudd or, you know, whatever, you know, Chairman accent or something. And they go about, you know, a half an hour in, they're not getting it. They're going, I'm still, I'm still hearing that German. Really? Oh, <laughs> oh no. Yeah. I've had that happen numerous <laughs> times. Yeah. So now I don't screw around. I get it done. Then I go, hey, here's another way to do it. And that's already done and in the can. Because oh, because no, oh, you I've, put it in their head. Yeah, exactly. You wow, some, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Heil, come to McDonald's today. <laughs> oh no, I'm still hearing it. It sounds like you said Heil instead of French fries. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so we're here. We're all about making your life easier. Hopefully, as a budding voice talent, or if you're thinking about entering the industry. I don't know if you can say but on. Budding. Uh, budding. Oh, budding. 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 Yes. Uh, and this is our budding. podcast for February, one of them. Um, so, and we are actually doing the workout every Wednesday night this month, which is wow. cool. Yeah. Oh gosh, I wish I could make it. Ex you're you're going to make it. Oh, okay. You're going right. to make it. So, we have a full house tonight. Or to, we, we do. Or last Wednesday, <laughs> a couple of Wednesdays ago, whenever this airs. We have a, a workout tonight and we have a full house. We're going to leave it at that. Right. So we're Love excited. That show. It's great. <laughs> but um, yeah, join us for that because it's just a great way for you to try out, you know, if you've never gotten behind a microphone before, if you we had a, a student with us a couple weeks ago who is still learning how to even use the microphone. Um, right, no, no, you put it in front of you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but JJ went through it with him 
you know, looking up the microphone and finding the controls on the back, which I wouldn't know what they are. So, of course, this guy doesn't know what they are. And JJ went through it. You went through it with him saying, click it onto this one, click it onto that one. I did. I actually brought up pictures and I emailed them to him Mm -hmm. and said, the reason I'm getting the from, 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 from in your files that you send is because you don't have the bass roll off on on the microphone. Mm -hmm. And just click that switch. That'll all go away. It makes it easier to edit. And in a couple of minutes, he got it all fixed. Yeah, it was much better. This file sounds so much better now. You can't. So you can't be expected to know. Those are very technical things that they someone are. But just, I've been doing this so long right. that I just know because I've got, I've got the focus right under the desk because these microphones don't have bass cut. Oh, interesting. There's no switch on them. So mm-hmm. everybody says, well, you can do it in Pro Tools after the fact. No, I don't want to do that. I just want to roll the bass off as I go in. <laughs> so I bought a $700 box with 54 buttons on it. Only one of them is pushed. That's the bass cut. <laughs> so, I don't know what the rest of the buttons do. I have no idea. But you have them. But I do. In case I you do. need them. Yes. I can make myself sound like tinfoil. <laughs> But the point being that um, even if you know nothing about a microphone, if you join us, we can guide you if you're having trouble. Right. Um, exactly. So, you know, that's why we're saying that even the newest of the newest will join us. And then yeah. people that have been doing voiceovers for years join us just to brush up on, you know, their chops or to keep to keep fresh. Um, and they have a, I have a new student that just started with me, and she's actually going to join us for the workout because I said to her – this would be great for you to hear other people as well as get coached from JJ and Alyssa sometimes. Right. Um, and yeah, she got excited and, and is signing up. Very good. But I, I, speaking of exciting, um, this is something that you and I strive for. But the other day I was doing a, a, a lesson and I'm going to go ahead and say her name because I'm so proud of her. Erin Cox. Hi, Erin. Hi, Erin. Um, she has been studying with us for months and months and months and months. Comes from a radio background. Already had some good stuff going on yeah. when she came to us. But the other day we were doing a you know an hour lesson together. And about 45 minutes in, I said, you know what, Erin? I don't have anything else to say to you. Mm-hmm. I said, your reads are good. You're, you booked a couple of jobs this week on Voices.com or Voice123. I said, it's time to get rid of the USB mic. You have got a, You bought a nice road mic. Plug it in. Mm-hmm. And I looked at her room and I helped her with the foam. Mm-hmm. Told her where to put it to deaden it in there. So we do, do do it all. If I can see your room, I can probably help you get it to just a great amount of deadness. Right. Because I, I keep moving. I move every three minutes. So, I, you know, it's always a new room. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I told her, I said, it's enough. We don't need to see each other anymore. And I'm also now at the point where I'm going to recommend you. That's fantastic. And she was just ecstatic. And that's the point we want to get everybody to. Yeah, that's the highest compliment you can get. Yeah. Yep. You know. So, but I, I, stuff. I like the fact that we, you know, you, me and Alyssa all coach the same way where we're not holding your hand, but we are one on one with you to the point that we mentor you. Yes, so, exactly. you know, exactly. we have another student we're working with, JJ and I both, and I won't mention his name, but, you know, he comes from another, he had a radio background, same thing. He comes from working with another company, wasn't too pleased with the process, um, worked with another coach, kind of got disheartened by that process. Whatever happened, happened. I'm not criticizing it. I mm-hmm. think that we all get something different from different coaches. Um, and it's been really enjoyable to watch him grow. And he's been yeah. studying for the last couple of months with us. And, you know, he's starting to, he's hes practicing, he's, you know, engaging, he's advancing. He sounds so, so much more, like, credible in his reads. Yes. And you can really tell, good. you and I and Alice can really tell who's been practicing and who hasn't. Yes. It's just like anything else. <laughs> I know. You know, if you sound the same as you did four months ago, you're not doing enough practicing. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, a couple students that come here, they're younger, and they're very much like, well, you tell me what to do. And I'm like, well, I can I can coach you and I can coach I your know. performance. There's the door. <laughs> Sorry. I can't tell you, here's the <laughs> next step for you, you know, because everybody's different, depends on what your goals are. And one of my students, I said, what is your goal? You know, because he's young. Know. And he's like, hmm. And I said, well, unless we have a goal, I don't want to make a demo. You know, so he started to think about it. But and he's young, which is tough because there's not a huge market for very young right. voice actors. Right. Like me. 
Right. Exactly. Yeah, you're you're exactly. you're you don't yeah. get a lot of work. I feel bad for you, but. <laughs> Oh, well, don't cry. Yeah, really been fun, Linda. <laughs> anyway, that was my point. Okay, that's all good. Point taken. Well, I'm excited about tonight's class. Alyssa's I am joining too. us. No, no, no. Last week's. Two weeks oh, class. I'm ex- I was excited and I had a great time with last week's class. <laughs> How do you know it hasn't happened yet? <laughs> it was fantastic. It was fantastic. Oh. Time Travelers Meeting will meet last Thursday at 2 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for joining us, especially the thank video portion for, us, for the first time. Um, and uh, that does it for this episode of the Voiceover Gurus this podcast. Fun that you can see us. I know it's crazy. Hurry, oh, yes. <laughs> it's crazy. It's fun. I love it. It is. I can't wait to see it on YouTube. YouTube. Uh, yes, you I, pl- I put on YouTube. YouTube. Well, excellent. Well, everyone, okay. have a great week. Whatever it is you're doing, and uh, info at voiceover.guru in case you have any questions or things you'd like us to discuss, or hey, you just want to say hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, we'll hear that too. What are you, a horse? Hey, yes. <laughs> All right. That so does. this horse walks into a bar, and the bartender looks at him and says, "Why the long face?" All right. Um, <laughs> it's great to see you. Um, Everybody have a great day. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon and see you soon. <laughs>